Floss Tube, it's Kerry and Stitches. It's Friday the 23rd of April and this is Floss Tube 95. Hello and welcome. Uh, a big welcome if you are a new viewer. It's lovely to have you here and um, uh, tell me where you came from. How did you find me? Did, was, did somebody shout out the 1,000 subscribe? Under 1,000 subscribe. I don't even know my own hashtag. Um, welcome, if you're, welcome back if you're a returning viewer. You know what I'm like. Um, thanks for joining me here. It's uh, lovely and sunny in my part of the world today. The weather's getting warmer. Spring is definitely here now. It's been a busy old fortnight. Um, I took it upon myself to make to make 973 scissor fobs. It wasn't quite that many, but it felt like it. And I'll talk about my black pair update later. So I've been doing lots of finishing and all sorts of things. So I'm going to jump straight into a life update. There isn't anything to tell. Nothing new. Nothing. No. Oh, we saw our friends last week, did we? Last week? Yeah, we went and had coffee and sat in the garden all day and said, I got some burnt nose. Was that the week before? I don't know. All the days seem to just roll into one. So, anyway. Um, 20th. Yes, okay, yeah. So we did go and see my friends last week, because, yeah. And now I know where I am now, I've just worked it all out. Yeah, we had a lovely day just sat in the garden, um, chilling and talking, and the girls met, lot, met up with their best, bestie, and it was all lovely, and it was a really nice day spent. Um, went to, we had a day of working in the office. It was busy, busy, busy. Uh, but, you know, got to go and do a bit of shopping in town. That was novel. Um, and clearly going at nine o'clock in the morning was the key because it was really busy. Uh, even then you could just see as we worked our way down the main um, high street in town, it just got busier and busier and busier. So I was glad we were done by 10 o'clock and in the office. Um, but I did mean I did get to order a custom frame for gnomes and I will show you that in a minute. So let's see. Oh, that's the same mug, isn't it? Same mug as I dropped the needle minder in at uh, his fob clasp. Pendant, there we go. Words. Right, so let's crack up now. I've actually had some FFOs. Uh, I've picked up a few frames recently and that's up to them. So, yeah, the ring light will glare. But this is Beaker uh, by Fiddlesticks AU, stitched on 28 count um, something or other. 20, it's, yeah, I can't think of it. Um, Oh, and hamsters up now, a Joblin or whatever it is, but I can't remember. Anyway, it's called Jack O'Lantern, it's by Jodie Designs. Um, Beaker is stitched in the Call for Colours. And this is just a plain white frame from the range, maybe? Possibly? Doesn't. I need to sort the back out because um, obviously the phone calls really quite thick, I couldn't get the back back on. Uh, Seriously thinking of investing in a map board cutter rather than using phone call, but phone call is quite cheap and it's, it works well usually. Um, so I'm just going to just cover it over with something and it will be fine and that fit lovely in that frame. That's 28 count I think it is. Next up was Upside Down 2. Santa's House, this is a Prairie Schooler uh, 2010 limited edition, although it wasn't a limited edition and they've re-released the charts. Uh, this is stitched on a mystery linen, as in mystery as I don't know what it is. And uh, it was a piece I was gifted, so I'm not sure what the. I don't know anything about it. Um, there wasn't. There's no. I don't even think there was a yellow line on it. Uh, an orange line, so I could tell you it was a got. Anyway, it's just a kind of a plain one. There's no hand dyeing or anything in it. So um, the squeaking you can hear is the hamster. Anyway, so this is stitched in. My own conversion, I think. The red said my own conversion, this green may be called for. And then the brown is DMC. So uh, the frame was from the range, and I love that. That's worked out really, really nicely. Again, couldn't get the back on, so. Look, lace that one. You didn't lace that one. Anyway, so there we go. I love the, I, this, this frame's great. I think it works really nicely for this. Um, so, really pleased with those FFOs. And another one, and I can tell you where this one's from. It's from Volco. And it does it, it fits much better. So, 
actually present to you Mischief Managed by uh, Fiddlesticks A yeah, another one from Fiddlesticks AU. Uh, stitched in the Hufflepuff colourway but on black 14 count Ada. Um, all the cool for colours. Uh, I've got a mount from my frame shop and I love this. I think it's the absolutely perfect finish for it. Don't usually bother with mounts but it, I kind of just felt it needed it and I love it. Absolutely love it. So super pleased with that one. And all three of them have got the glass in. Um, I got these two Prairie, Sc Prairie School look. Lizzie Kate's done, ready to go on the board for their magnets and stuff. So, yeah. They should have been all the same colour button, but I decided to kind of match with the flower centres. So that's another two of those done. I finished, probably actually, I finished April and then FFO'd it to go. I actually did, I can't really see very well, but they, I did eyelets for the centre of the flowers. So. I've got the colours all muddled up, so I swapped them all about. And then we've got March, uh, March done as well. And they are stitched on a scrap. Oh well, it's a sample piece of twenty-eight or thirty-two cut. I'm not sure which. Um, Lavender blue by Sparklies. It's an even wave version of it, and it's really pretty. There is patches where you can actually see it's really. It's got quite blue colour in it. I don't have any on this one. Mm, can't really see on that one. So there we go, that's those. So I just pop them in and out of this little cheap frame. That can go to there. And then, kind of in purchases, but we'll go with FFOs as well. So um, I finished did all these and I wasn't sure what to do with them until I saw the wonderful Audrey Stitchy Witch 42's idea of sticking her, she was doing some pics for a flower for Frog, f flower frog, frog, <laughs> can't say words. And I, I saw this on, which I'm going to show you in a minute, on in Hobbycraft on their website. And I saw it, I was like, that's really nice. Mm, not sure I want to buy it. Uh, really like it. Kept thinking about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy it. Because I, I did that with a sled and missed out on it last year. So it served me right. So I see it in Hobbycraft, probably needs to jump on it. Anyway, this is mine oh, in this really, really cool glass vase. The vase has actually completely come out. So, and it's got, I've actually stuck some foam in it, but it's kind of got like a, a flower frog metal top. Oh, you can just about see it like that. I stuck a bit of foam in just to stop them moving about. And then I have this one, which I put on a ribbon originally to go around a spool. So my plan is to attach that one to the front there. And then I will change the picks out seasonally like Audrey's doing. Um, and I'm probably going to just try and do the festive bobs for it. So that's bees ready to go up in May. And I've got the one, the other last one I'm going to do, the round one. So, love it. That's a really, really great. Oh, uh, and the two strawberries, I'm going to tie them to more ribbon and I'm going to hang them on the side of it. I've got a plan. I think it's going to look great. Right. And finally, gnomes. So, yeah, it's been a busy old FFO fortnight. I had plans to do coffee drinkers for confession, but the frame I bought was actually too big or rather the aperture the piece fits lovely in the mount but i didn't leave in a big enough fabric margin. and and i've decided for myself i'm not absolutely sold on the frame so i'll see if i can get a different frame for it if with the car if a, you know three four months and i haven't found the right one um i'll just sew some fabric on and i'll do it that way so it's kind of a case of will i find a frame first or will the sewing machine come out first whichever happens is how it's being finished and the frame's a great frame, it'll be perfect for something else. So it's kind of, it's that, um, yeah, it'll work either which way. It's not like it's a wasted frame. It wasn't an expensive frame, I think it was £3.50 from the range. So anyway, gnomes! we got to finish, put my light. So this is Gnomes in a Garden Row by Bent Creek, stitched on 32 count Star Sapphire by uh, Witch Elt. Um, with my own conversion, there's about so oh, I'm gonna. This is gonna be really, really hard. Just to, so I'm gonna start here, right? So there we go. I'm gonna have to tilt it this way. So you saw the what I thought was finished, and it wasn't because uh, as I was showing Heather this FFO last night, she pointed out I hadn't finished the K. It was just like an L. So I've had to redo that this morning. Oh, 
and the fence, which is uh, is has been I can't even. There we go. It's been hand painted by my lovely tie dye lady Ginny. Look at all these gorgeous flowers and mushrooms and bees and things. And I love it. It looks exactly how I've envisioned it. And so this was another custom frame by my local frame shop. And and I love it. And I love the fact now I can just go in there and go, can I have a frame that measures? And they were like 18 by 18 by 4 inches. Are you sure? I'm like, yes, I am. And then I forgot to get a piece of, because I know with their frames, mount boards better, because they fit better. Um, so I did it with Alice. So, uh, although I have foam core in Main Street. So they, you know, they're, they're decent frames and they've got a nice deep aperture, um, deep recess and everything to get their things in. So anyway, I'm just going to put that there. So I rang them up and, I, and I'd forgotten, I was just, cause I knew there was a couple of bees, I thought oh, I'll just get some mount board, it'd be easier. Um, phoned them up and said, I've got, uh, I've got the phone call to pick up a frame, but can you cut me some of the shoes, like 18 by, and like 18 by, she's like, no, 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 18 by 4 inches, trust me. And I walked into the shop, shop and I said, oh, it's Mrs Pickering for the frame, and she went, she, and the girl looked back and went, it's the long skinny one. So. There we go. So that is, that, uh, that'll be on the wall soon. Right. Let's see, is that, is that, is that the balance up there then? Right, next pile, the whips. <laughs> this has sort of become my little bit of a travel project, my little armour pouch. So this is one of the Lizzie Cates, this is Flip It um, stamps. And this is August. Totally my own conversions. This is on Star Sapphire too. So, actually, do I have the threads in here? I can tell you what they are. I do as well. So we've got the pink round the edge is not that one. All right then. Yeah, the pink around the edge is a jodery design called Tabs Tangles. And then we've got the green background is Rainforest. And then we've got, I fussy cut this for the uh, stem of the flower which is called Change of Seasons and it's a, it, was, it was a limited edition and look, it's got orange and then I fussy got the, the other bit I used for the flowers because they're just, just yellow and then picnic basket, good old picnic basket is what I'm going to stitch the centre of the flowers in so there's that and I think the dark green for August was just a random DMC I've been stitching on um, Stone Street Stitchworks Martin uh, MLK Sampler. Love this. Just saw that Pam from Pam's Craft uh, Pam's Craft. I can't even say it. Pam's Crafty Corner has finished hers, and hers is beautiful. So uh, yeah, so I'm stitching this. Uh, I've changed the colours because I can. And this is my daily 30 piece, so I'm trying to get 30 minutes a day in it. And as you can see, I have completed the border now, so that's my whip going gold met on it. And started on the words. So it's coming on. I get around 80 stitches in a day on it. So it'll, it'll, uh, and I'm going to stitch on that for the rest of um, April. Got one month we were in. And then I shall swap to something else. Oh, yeah, Christmas trees. Uh, daily 30. Says so stitch a butterfly, so I'm right. So I'm doing these were a card kit, and oh, I pulled them up. It's that I'm stitching that one at the top there. It's a there we go. It's horrible. I'm not enjoying it at all. Like 900 color changes, as you can see. That's the colors, and all but about three of the blues are in it. And it's that way up, sir. Yeah, I need 300 stitches as well. Right. Oh, I'm going to show Christmas dreams last because I, I can. Because it's my floss tree. Uh, we've got Elizabeth Shepherd. Let me find a picture of it. I always pull out the small one and I've got a better picture of it in here. 
can't see the better picture of it. There we go. So Elizabeth Shepherd, um, this is just a cover photo I blew up. Uh, it's by the Scarlet Letter, it's a reproduction sampler. Uh, done in the style of an Ackworth School Girl one, but not, probably not one. So, so look, I don't even remember last, oh, let me think. I reckon last time you saw it, I think I'd, start, I'd gotten about that much done of the top row of the page two. So this is where I'm at now. So I've gotten, let me see, yes we can. Uh, page one's complete, that's this bit here, this side here, and I've gotten half, uh, I've gotten a lot of page two done, uh, which goes all the way down. Oh no, hang on. Ah, pages one and two complete, which is the top ba top half basically, uh, to, to the top of the urn. And then I started on page, I've got half a page three done. So I've got two big Quakers to do and five half Quakers plus a few random little mitties. So I am loving this. Can't wait to um, get it out. And it comes out every month for Zombie. And I think I've got 1,200 stitches in it this month. No, I didn't. I've got 15. If it, calls, if it gets called for Whipgo, it's 1,500 stitches. I think I've got 1,400 and something. Although, I don't know. I don't remember. It was enough anyway. So stitched on 28 count white or antique white even weave of which I do not know. Oh, this is why I got, that's about as much as I can tell you. Um, and it's been kitted for years. And I've that in the alternate DMCs. And it is in I put you back some Sarah and her shop title has something to do with whips I don't know it's in the it's in the box below and while Sarah sits and laughs at me because she knows what I'm like uh, so there's literally like taped across the bottom of my phone when I record um next up is Christmas dreams this is in a bag from shells of trunkle stitches and I'm loving stitching this. It's my, my currently, it's my favourite whip at the moment. And I, um, I was having I had to put it away. And I've just done my planning for next week, and it's coming back out again because I'm basically trying to fit it in everything because I love it so much. Oh, that's a thought. Mm. No, it'll be out. It'll be fine. Right. So I am stitching this in the called for floss, although I swapped out Louisiana hot sauce for a colour on cotton that has no name. Doesn't have a name. So but basically basically it looks like Louisiana hot sauce. So uh, and I'm stitching it on an 18 count mystery which was gifted to me so there we go so the middle block's all done apart from three snowflakes and a couple of stars or something like that and then since you, I think I've pretty much stitched down here since you last saw it so I've got most of an angel stitched Looks, the stocking the lantern snowman and a footless robin uh, you had an option if um, with this two stitch, either a cardinal there or a robin, and I decided to go for a robin because I thought mine would be a bit different. Uh, Cheryl McKinnon of Tiny Modernist provides both, so. And I did change. I did darken because that was supposed to be Louisiana, Louisiana hot sauce, and I thought, oh, that's a bit bright, so I just changed it to Ruby Slipper from Gast, just to dull it down a little bit, and I'm happy with that. I think it looks fabulous. Uh, yes, he does do a new feet, which I was going to, because it's 10 stitches, I thought, yeah, I'll do that when I do the um, yellow in the angel. So, and I'm going to throw in a bit of metallic because it's Christmas. So, uh, the angel's trumpet will be in uh, uh, metallic. They'll f the flame for here will be in metallic. So, I think I identified maybe, I don't know, some of the blocks. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I decided that the tr the two trumpets would have some metallic in the tr star tree on top tree, tree on top of the star 
let's go with that. We'll have the candle, uh, Santa's belt, and then probably the presents. We'll all have a bit of metallic in them. So just enough to kind of have it spread throughout, but not too much that uh, it's not. Um, yes, I know what I mean. It'll look great. I, haven't, I must dig out a metallic from a gold from the stash. It'll probably be light effects because I've got that. Or and it's possibly a Madeira one. It'll be something. It'll be whatever I've got in my stash and that'll do. So I'm not too worried about that. So that is all that I've stitched on. Because I finished gnomes. No, I finished gnomes because you saw that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's all I've stitched on basically. So, um, move that to there. Which plans? All of the above. So, Whip Girl hasn't come out yet. Um, it is 24 hours of cross stitch weekend. I doubt I'm going to go very much. My weekends, despite having time, I just don't seem to have much motivation. I am planning, I've been to the garden centre, bought a few plants. I'm planning to get some of the pots and stuff done, a bit got tidying up. Did a bit last weekend. Kind of did the work that kind of when you go okay i need to do that and i need to fill a gap there and i need to, so that's what we did and i'm gonna do some more pots and stuff i need some more pots is what i need um so that's the plan um okay plans plans for the garden that is anyway so uh, so zombie run uh, from daily 30 and for my last of the monthly uh, tasks and also for something into and some of the, uh, three of the weekly tasks I need to work on cardinal points so I shall and just for ease of stitching I will probably bring the bottom border across I like stitching that border I think it's because my challenge groups are in normally in increments of 100 as is whip go um yeah my, my daily 30 all check with increments of 100 uh that's stitched on 36 count blush ivory by Zweigart or something like that uh in the call for uh, gentle arts threads um usually increments so like this week my challenges are 300 and 400 stitches for one week 100 or 200 for the other week 200 on the um monthly and 200 uh, 400 on zombie so I know that it's 103 stitches for one flower and one leaf on, leaf on the border, so it kind of just makes. I just go do, 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 done, and I know I've done it. So, although I think I'm going to have to stitch something in the middle to get those nooks up. By my reckoning, I need 800, 12, 14, 1600 stitches in cardinal points over in the next two weeks. So, um, which then will have run into probably by that point. Uh, the new zombie run, so that'd be another 400 stitches. So about 2,000 stitches in the next two weeks on zombie. Ooh, that's a uh, um, cardinal points. That's a lot, but it's gonna look amazing. Um, you start looking for square frames, big square frames for it. Probably ought to note their size of that. That's not a bad plan actually. Uh, spitting, uh, gross. Sorry. Um, note. Uh, the size of a couple of my big pieces down for when I go thrifting next week. I'm incredibly jealous of what Heather picked up. So, um, plans. Basically, cardinal points, Christmas dreams, MLK sampler, and finish that Lizzie Kate block and probably start another one. That's my plans. Oh, and that butterfly. I looked at it and went, yeah, that's about 400 stitches, that's fine. About 700. Hey ho! Would you like to know what I've purchased lately? Would you? I, I got um, a punchy doodah uh, to do flop, uh, thread drops and things. So, because that's what I'm doing with my Jojo's. I was bobbinated the one. I'm like, I can't be dealing with this. So I'm now just. But normally I get my little hole, but like, make a big hole out of. So, Heather, I saw Heather's started this. Uh, it's one of the Alpha Forest embroidery freebies, which is that one there. I did the cover didn't bring it for some reason, but it's that there. And it's really really cute so, so um, I'm going to stitch that I'm sure it just recommends their floss I don't know yeah DMC it's got a DMC conversion which I can then convert it's only five colors I can then convert to two fences or something like that because to get the nice variegation um, these were half price in hobby hobby craft 
I picked up the little square one. I just thought they might be a bit more practical than some of the round ones. But these were metal ones and I thought they were cool. So it's got three designs included. But no. Anyway, I just like saw those. A couple of pieces of Ada. I need to reevaluate my colours from sparklies because my ones that were linen were lovely and that's actually a spring green and you can't see any of the green on it so I need to actually email Kate and ask her and that's fairly bronzed which is good it's like a subtle coffee dye I think I need to eat, um, evaluate my um, list uh, just a piece of Murano I have um, some money off actually for hobby crafts and I was just kind of like let me just grab some 32 count white fabric because you know, it always comes in handy. Um, I had a surprise in the post from the lovely Helen D, who surprised me with a lovely note and super cute project bag. Um, oh, really, really cute baby pandas. Uh, it's got a really pretty lace trim and um, this kind of creamy, yellowy fabric at the top and one of those white and cream relief fabrics in the middle and uh, inside so I love that and also she sent me some more coffee so pretty pretty oh I've got to just answer my own question so thank you to Helen I had so much fun selling the um, that thing with me. Oh, come on, Kerry, what's it called? Names in a row. And then we have Cross Stitch Magazine. So, Cross Stitch Magazine. Uh, I sub to this, so I get a hard copy every month, and this is issue 370. Uh, and that's the June issue. So, that's the cover kit, the beads. So I'm thinking I will do that and I'll probably do it as it is and pop it into a frame. So I'm going to have to, it's another frame, a little, little square frame I need to look out for in my sh thrifting um, what sits tomorrow. So, there we go, that's a close up of the card. So they are actually all full coverage pieces. So I've got some blue scraps. I may potentially just swap it out for a blue scrap it will still look really good so what have we got so there's the contents um okay animal prints are apparently on trend what else? bees well we all know that bees are epic uh the stitching with jess is magnolia uh, they've got the usual offers from Willow Fabrics. Okay, room with a view is this one, which is the dining room. I do actually really like the simplicity of them. And they are really pretty. But not going to search it. We've got the summer sampler part two. Okay, so the whole thing. So that what they mean by part part two is that they must have been they must be doing the four seasons. It is by. Maria Diaz, there we go, is that, that's really sweet, it's also really nice for little motifs as well, okay, this little scooter at the bottom are cute, what's next, ship ahoy, okay, so we've got a ship in the bottle by Susan Bates, I love the colours, that red is fantastic on it, I'm not usually a reddy orangey kind of person, but I just think that looks really, really great. Could be a DMC, so that's um, 606 and 817 are the reds. That's cool. What have we got next? Um, the right stuff. So it's all kind of writing stuff and a mug. Looks like the Cornish wear. Typewriter and things. Pop plant. Because that's just what we all need for our, above our home working desks. I've got a small court board and a really wonkily put up on the wall where there are bees. Well, oh, what's up? That's what I call it. So we've got some cute little buttons that they've put a brooch backs on them and made them into hair bubbles. 
Okay, random. Um, herbs and spices for the letter alphabet. I mean, the good thing about these ones is most of them seem to be separate. So, yes, they kind of fit the thing. But if you needed a random thing with, I don't know, lemon balm in, you could. So, kitchen spices seems a bit of a cop out. Quiet moment. Mm, not sure how that's called in infusion. You get that with herbs and stuff. And sleep and zzz for sleep. Okay. More oh, wasabi. Wonder what that said then. That's cool. And then they've got numbers. So that's really cool. Uh, we've all got all the usual random stuff. And Noah's Ark. It's actually a really lovely one. That's Doreen Jones. Oh yeah, I see that now. It's really nice though. So that could easily be the uh, cute animal cards. Um, an interview with Amy Burt from the Royal School of Needlework. I didn't notice that before. I really like that. Kind of like willow pattern. Um, teacups and stuff. Let's do a journal cover. And apparently, stitch it with Jane, Jane Prutton. Okay, I'm just looking at that. Okay, yeah, I see what they're saying. Because you're just using one whole piece of paper, you need to stick it on the right so when you do that, yeah. Okay, part one of the Alice at Mad Hat's Tea Party is a oh, whole lot of deja vu it's a shame they don't show you the whole well they do but the whole of the close-up of it because you've also got the caterpillar in this bit which is really not really cool so just in case you didn't know what it looked like oh that's the whole thing but i have an idea and i really like the caterpillar and the turtle and the white rabbit and the dodo so I kind of got an idea that I might do something with those but I'm still suffering with Alice trauma so pugs and kisses um ready steady stitch ready steady stitch challenge is nautical themed cards um what else we got da -da -da. Um, how to make ribbon roses. Uh, Grimm's Fairy Tales is Cinderella, and that's actually really nice to see one of her as uh, Cinders rather than the kind of princess look of it. So really, that's really nice, that one. Uh, coming next month, Ruffs, uh, Keep Purse, and Lavender Fields. That's really nice. I like that little. Purse. I don't know if I stitch it as a purse because I've got those kits and I don't do them. Hold my hands up there. But actually, I really like. Oh, first kit for us on a stitch. Okay. Tempting. So that's actually not a lot. So that's part of a stitch along. You've piqued my interest there, cross stitcher. Um, but that would make a really nice. Uh, Mel Pachifoni Stitcher did fabulous thing where she'd got a glass. Well, it's actually a bottle. That she'd cut top cut off um and she just wrapped it around to make a small vase that would look lovely around the bottom of, oh you're giving me an idea now mel yes you have so there we go that's cross stitch of 370 the june edition let me just move some stuff out of the way okie dokie let's move on to um i completely forgot i'm gonna make a note of this now so um, I forgot to draw a winner for this so I'm going to put a name on the screen right about now 
So congratulations if that was your name. You won. I didn't draw a winner. I completely forgot about it, even though I pulled the kit and put it on the table. Oh well, never mind. So congratulations to the winner. Um, my details are in the bottom in the box. Drop me an email. Uh, this week you get... Oh, I picked this up on my desk at work, work, so it's been there. I would have given it away in January, but no. Um, this is the cross -stitch, last year's cross-stitcher calendar, which has the 12 cards with the dogs on. Um, so let me know if you'd like to win all the cute pups. So oh. they are, doesn't say actually, okay. 38 by 28 on average. So, and there are 12 different designs. I'd like to, the, obviously the calendar's no use, but they come with nice little charts on the back of them. So, um, very much like this year's calendar. And I really do like the, this format that they use, the little mini disc calendars. So, um, I've taken it out of the, the, the CD casing because it's gotten a bit cracked. So, um, I'll just pop them in the bag. So, I'd like to win Oh, I'd like to stitch the dogs. That's an easy one, isn't it? Dogs. So I will tell you who's won. You'll know who's won it because the name will have gone across the screen. Okie dokie. Um, let's jump into the one and one under under a thousand subs club. Words are starting to fail me now. It's getting late. It's been one of those days where everything has taken twice as long as it should have done today. Me. An hour for this. Two hours later. Me. Thirty minutes. Not a problem packing my black pair of orders. Yeah. No. An hour and a half. Just not organised enough at the moment. Anyway, under a thousand subs club. So uh, this is the little section of the video where I shout out floss tubers who are under a thousand subs club. A bit like me. Um, there are several floss tubers who are on board with this. Uh, so it's the brainchild of myself and uh, myself. Heather Link is my homeboy and Sarah King of our Stitching Kingdom. And it's growing, so thank you to all the floss tubers like Audrey Stitchwitch42 and Janet Jabber and Sammy Joe and I think there might be a couple of others that I can't, oh Becca Sunbury Stitches who are all starting to shout people out uh, for this thing and I'm trying to focus on stitchers who have more videos and aren't the newer ones so because yeah so and when I say, I'm, I'm talking like people are maybe going like myself, like three, nearly four years and that kind of thing. So, these people are my shout outs today. And they range from um, like subs like from like 120 or something like that, 130 something to 900. So, it's, um, yeah, let me just shut them out because it'll be easier. So, first of all, we've got Finding Judy. Oh, she's, Judy is hilarious. Um, Shelly Kiexich pointed me in her direction and um, yeah, so I have notes. So rather than just looking at the name, just trying to think, I have notes. Uh, let me have a look. So she's pretty much stitching everything that I kind of like. So there's black, she's got Blackbird Designs, Frosted Pumpkins, Barbara Anna's, um, she also has a really cute dog. Uh, she's really, really funny and um, Seriously, go and check her out because she just, she's brilliant. Look, I, yeah. Absolute hidden gem of the floss tube world. There we go. That's what we're going to call her. And then we have, who's number two? Crafting Kirsty. She is um, a British floss tuber and a knitter and a quilter and she has some beautiful projects and she frames the stuff and um, she had a cut in one of her recent videos two beautiful pieces that she just had frames so um, go and check her out we have got Cassie Jo Stitches um, oh she oh what was that piece she just I can't remember okay here we go Zim Zimmerman Coverlet that's what it from a modern folk embroidery and she had this like amazing ready per ready pinky purpley fabric oh it's gorgeous so she's just finished that love stitching trees uh she's stitching pandemic by long dog she's got cats um her little ones make an appearance um her daughter stitches so her little daughter stitches and she's stitching the lizzie kate months so uh snap <laughs> so uh yeah go check out cassie she's got some great 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 things um 
and she's so close to a thousand so check her out and lastly uh, a lady who I met um, met uh, on Shannon uh, Stitchy Shannon 85's uh, one of her zooms uh, that's Katie and uh, Katie did stitches and she loves peacocks uh, she was the crafty peacock I think is it crafty peacock something peacock um, and she's Stitch. She showed three beautiful ones that she's stitching. She's stitching Lindy Stitches, the Peacock Keeper, you know, the one that says a little nonsense now and then. Yeah, yeah. yes, that one. Uh, she finished Jeanette, uh, the Letters from Mum, the August block of the Jeanette Douglas series, which has got the peacock, which is beautiful. Um, and that's one of those series that I, I I saw and I loved and I was kind of I don't want to stitch all of them and I don't want to do the mm, kind of thing. But yeah, because they'd actually like specifically say like August, you could stitch them as standalones and I think I might have to go searching for a couple of those because they are some beautiful ones. Um anyway, uh, and she's also doing another one and I forget what another beautiful kind of um, was it a dimensions kit or something like that. It's really really pretty. Um, when I saw her on the Zoom, she was stitching Bag End from The Hobbit. Uh, she's got giant Harry Potter, she's got a long book sampler on the go. She has gotten, you know, lots of big pieces, lots of small pieces. You know, abuse. Anyway, go and see Katie. Uh, she has just done a whip parade, so it's really worth checking that out and shows you. I think she has 27 whips, I think she said it was. So, anyway, that's that. Um, I'm going to do. A minute on black pair there we go so black pair logo gets inserted here at 43 minutes 41 minutes and i'll write it down so i can remember these things so um i'm gonna get hubs to insert a big photograph yeah i had a really really mad i was sat here last friday and i just didn't feel like doing a stitch with me and i just kind of knew i needed to make some new stuff and just started kitting a few things turns out i kitted up like 40 um i can't look, i should have brought the ipad in um yeah i think i kitted up 26 scissor fobs eight floss rings eight froggers and needle and i had some needle minders too so i basically just spent four days making um so i most of them i've been put away i've sold some already uh which is awesome but i'm just gonna quickly show you a couple of, and I actually made some more today because I thought I needed to restock. Uh, so this is Mermaid of the Pearls again. So what else have we got? Bees flustering. These are the only ones that I've got knocking around here. Um, in reach because these are what I made today. This is just a little rainbow and it's all the different sewing-y things on it. So that's really cool. I should just put them back on here. Um, glitter globe with all these fabulous beads. I love that. That's really cool. And nearly didn't have this one in the shop and I haven't actually put it in the shop yet because um, I haven't photographed it because I only had four of the one bead and I made I made it and I was like I really really love it I can't hang these things up and I loved it and I was just kind of like do you know what I rarely make them for myself these I'm gonna keep it and then I spent spent ages tracking down I emailed my supplier and said can you get these and they're like nope they don't make them um but I managed to track down some more blue hearts so that's what I made last Saturday and I this one's going in the shop and I have one myself. It's actually got the, it's got two crowns because they were single sided, but I could put them together and they could make, I was going to glue them, but I'm not, didn't bother. So, um, I love that. That's one of my favorite. And I did a black, um, a blackbird, yeah. bees one recently and I love that too. And that's in my shop. So it's similar to the uh, thread drops, floss rings. So, um, as you will have seen from the photograph, I've made an awful lot of stuff and that's all, that's what I've made this morning. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, that was a bit longer than a minute, but you know, I love, I love making, um, making jewellery really was my first proper hobby. So, 
that's why it's really important to me and that's why I love to show what I've made with bees. I mean, I'm wearing one of my own necklaces today. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to leave it there for today. So go check out the Under 1000 Subs Club. There, in my drop down box, there is a list of every single floss tube I have mentioned um, from previous weeks. So uh, check those out. Uh, I've still got, I've got one, two, three, four, five, and there's a load more. So these are the ones I've watched. I also have a list of ones I haven't watched yet. So keep giving me suggestions. Um, I write them down. I will get there eventually. So until next time, take care, friends. Have a great stitchy fortnight. The video is called Australia because Mitch Stitch has finally made a video. Yay! Um, I'll be watching that this weekend. Um, I'm going to chat with my, my favourite stitchy peeps tonight. And um, yeah, take care, friends. Have a great stitchy fortnight. And I will... Sorry, random thing on my phone. And I'm just like, what? Anyway, uh, yeah, take care, friends. Have a great stitchy fortnight, and I will see you all. Um, I'm not gonna, yeah, there will be no stitch with me or anything next week unless I make one early in the week because both kids have got birthdays next week. Happy birthday, Audrey Stitchy Witch 42. Apparently, I'm not going anywhere just yet, so it's gonna be crazy, crazy busy. We're having, as we're still in lockdown, we're allowed six people outdoors, so Lottie's um, having two friends over next Saturday, and we're having a tie dye party because apparently I'm crazy. Um, uh, sorry, apparently now is the time for me to get lots of messages on my phone. Um, yeah, so that's going to be, we'll show you our creations. I've got some ideas. It's going to be great. It's going to be messy. I'm hoping my friend will stop and help me. Anyway, friends, take care. Have a great stitchy fortnight and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.